Well, here's another tip for you uh, fish pro folks that uh, have a Garmin uh, depth finder, fish finder on your machine. You know how a lot of people have been talking about how the fluid seems to be leaking out. And one of the first things you do is go ahead and try and clamp the seals down, maybe with some uh, zip ties or something like that along the area right here. Uh, the next thing you do is you go ahead and you buy the upgraded seal um, from uh, your Fish Pro dealer. Uh, you look on the 2020 and up um, components for the fish finder and you can find the replacement seal. Uh, it's a kind of a reddish seal or a pink seal. It's not the yellow one. The yellow one came with the 2019 and uh, it's, it's kind of flimsy. So I replaced that, but it seemed like I was still having some janky problems uh, with my uh, with my fish finder but uh, just to make sure I didn't have fluid leaking out over time uh, I note that uh, in the Garmin installation manuals for the boat uh, uh, transducers it says that uh, you should probably screw the uh, cap down to the housing itself and uh, that's what we're going to do here today what uh, what you find is what you'll need is you'll need some <clears throat> Sheet metal screws, self-tapping sheet metal screws, stainless, number two by one half uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws. You can see they're really, really small. Um, and what they do is they go in the holes in the housing. <clears throat> right down here. And what that does is uh, that affixes the cap more firmly to the, um, the housing itself. Um, the holes are already pre-drilled in the in the cap itself and the self-tapping feature allows them to penetrate down through the uh, housing um, and then go ahead and make a secure fastenment of the top to the to the transducer well. You'll note that there's a an arrow here on the on the fish finder and the instructions from uh, in the manual uh, from SeaDoo say that that arrow needs to point toward the um, hull, the center line of the hull of your boat. I suspect that's because the beam angle of the transducer it doesn't shoot just a cone. This one doesn't. I believe this is the GT15M transducer that comes with the Fish Pro, um, at least the 2019 Fish Pro, and uh, it shoots uh, an elliptical angle, which is uh, more wide. Uh, than it is narrow and that's why you want to place that arrow I believe toward the the center line of the hull of the boat. So we'll go ahead and screw this down and I'll let you know what it looks like uh, after we finish up. Looks pretty much the same. GoPro stop recording.